So you're going to school for nursing, correct? Yeah, prayed as much as I studied, you know why, but made it through. Oh yeah, my sleep paralysis. Whoa. Oh shit. That shit was wild. I couldn't it, move any part of my body. It, it wasn't on top of me, it was on top of Alyssa. It was just black. Oh, freakiest yeah. thing I've ever had in my life. Grant loves the titty bag. Yeah, his favorite thing is butthole in the face, he says. Some of that soul booty, brother. Dude, he's a dog. That man will drive like four and a half hours just to get him some. Is that a true true story? Dude, that's a true story. Oh my God, yeah. And he ended up getting in so good with her. He was like buying groceries and like paying rent. Anyway, yeah. welcome to the Day Day Podcast. I am here joined with Jared, our new fucking guest. This is Johnny, Julian, and me. How you guys been this week? Great, great. Great, great. Pretty good. Excited to be here. Fuck you. Yeah. So how you been, dude? Good, good. Fuck long yeah. time friend of ours. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Long time friend. Very long time. It's the first been time we've seen him in forever. quite a while. Yeah. I think since high school graduation. For yeah, I, I I've you seen the, you a couple years, like a year yeah, ago. Yeah, probably yeah. was. It's all you at the city game. I remember oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Fuck yeah, yeah. You and your brother. So you're going to school for nursing, correct? Yep. Yeah. Yep, nursing. That's pretty cool. Last semester kind of sucked a little bit, but... You got through it. Yeah, I got through you it. Got thank through God. It. Thank God. Probably pr- prayed as much as I studied, not gonna lie. Mm, fuck yeah. But made it through. Learned a lot. We couldn't actually, like, go to any hospitals, unfortunately, because shit happened with, like, the instructors higher up. I not get into any of that because it's kind of mm. fucked up. But, mm. yeah, that happened. So, in the beginning of next semester, though, we'll get to go to the hospitals. We get to go to three different places. So, I'm looking forward to that. Because we haven't had any, like, actual experience, but to, like, counter for that, they built, like, they built a room and they put, like, a bunch of simulations in and stuff to where we could go and uh, get that sort of experience, right. like, what we'd see right. in the hospital. So that was kind of neat. I mean, like, they did the best they could. Like, the instructors are really good. <laughs> so that was good, but, yeah, I got to I gotta get my shit together for next semester. I got to get on a schedule, get on a plan. <laughs> so like I went by, I went by like word of mouth for everything and it just did not work out. Like I just try to keep everything in my mind. I didn't write shit down, but yeah, yeah. So right. that, that was kind of fucked. But so now I know. Yeah, so trial error. Planner, good to have a plan. Good to have a plan. <laughs> yeah, to go off of. A little crash course. Yeah, yeah. something. Exactly. Just something. Anything. Gotcha. Is it cool yep. though? Like, do they have a lot of shit? Like, I seen their gym. No, I took a picture of their gym. Jeff goes or. Oh no, not Jeff goes. I mean, fucking. Simo. You're at Simo. Simo's yeah. gym. Simo's gym nice. is nice. Yeah, I like Simo's gym. You're talking about like their the rec center or like their yeah just everything looks just every, nice, yeah right? everything's pretty nice but looks like a cool school except they don't put any parking near the actual building so you have to park hella far away and walk 15 minutes to class every time oh shit yeah, nice. they got a big old parking lot for the teachers next to it but they said fuck the students yeah, fuck the students they, yeah, they so can we walk we gotta walk hella far but other than that it's nice Nothing about good exercise yeah, it's, exactly. It's First thing well. in the morning. Get, yeah, get the legs going. <laughs> get awake. That's the big they thing. They want you. Yeah, they want you awake by the time you get yeah. to class. We didn't have too many early classes this semester. I think the earliest was the earliest was eight o'clock, and that was one of the clinicals. But it was eight to four, which oh. kind of sucked yeah. every Wednesday. Hmm. But that's a long day. Yeah, especially yeah. for a class. Now, as soon as I saw that, I was like, "Fuck my ass! Am I really about to do this to myself every Wednesday?" <laughs> but, <laughs> every Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, you meet you meet the people there. It's like it's definitely good to have people around you to help you get through. Cause like if you, I mean, if you're doing anything alone, it'll go for anything. But it's best to do it with a group of people that are around you and not do right. anything alone. Got go through anything alone. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, that was definitely a big part of it. Um, how would you say balancing life in school? You know, like personal things and you know, getting about what you got to do in the day. I mean, are you getting in the gym playing ball or? Yeah, at the at the beginning of the semester, I was I was doing all right because we hadn't really like hit the ground running yet, so it wasn't it wasn't too bad. And so I was able to balance. I was able to go to the gym three or four times a week, and I was able to actually go out for a little bit. But mm-hmm. once like mid semester hit, and not having like a plan or a plan to write anything down, that's where it kind of kind of messed me over a little bit because I didn't really have I didn't have a set like I couldn't look at anything and be like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do for that day, this is what I'm gonna do for that day, and so on. Uh... So. Yeah, just kind of like all this mumble job in my head. So I didn't have, I didn't really have good time management. That's what it really was. Gotcha. So I would like, I would go to class and I'd sometimes I'd like pass out for three or four hours. And I'd be like, fuck, I got to get this and that done. So, and I had to do that real quick. Or like spending time with my girlfriend. She's down there too. Spending time with Noah and my other buddies. Mm-hmm. So I was like, it was hard towards the end of the semester. So that's where it kind of sucked not having a plan. But right. other than that, it, it was pretty fun. Do fine. you work while you're down there or no? Yeah, I work you... at the I still work at the deli like 15 to 20 hours a week. And that was that was a big issue, too. Holy cow, so, man. Yeah, I think you're doing quit. it all. Yeah, I'm going to probably quit for next next semester just to see 
how that time works out and i'm able to manage my time a little bit better mm-hmm. right. so i'm just to work out and that's just kind of a struggle out. yeah yeah you gotta learn as you're going early mornings yeah. late nights <laughs> it basically yeah uh, basically absolutely yeah yeah but, it takes a lot out of you trying to start off you know it really does and like they they said it a lot the instructors like the first semester is really there to just weed people out like they make it purposely like really tough on you mm-hmm. like the taking like pharmacology that's one of like the toughest classes you have to take and they always make you take it for a semester no matter where you're at really like my brother's doing the same thing up in mizzou and that's one of the first classes he has to take in his first semester so mm. yeah it's just it's a tough class but so hopefully what the upperclassmen said was true after that it's a breeze apparently oh okay so, fuck yeah yeah so i'm hoping so you might be able to get some work yeah. and stuff in and might be able to do what I want to do and get That's some other true. stuff in. And yeah, especially if you implement that plan that you're talking about, right. you know, I mean, exactly. You'll have, just be better at managing everything. Mm-hmm. Having true. any plan at all, really. Yeah. Probably better than having no plan. <laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> Some kind of plan. It is true. Where, didn't you go out of, out of the country not too long ago? Yeah, I think, I think two summers ago. Where, yeah. where'd you go? Uh, we landed in Milan. Then we went to. Oh, shit. Yeah, we only got to stay there for a day, though. There really isn't much in Milan. It's super industrial, honestly, up there. Like, oh, really? Yeah, it's like the fashion district, but it's super industrial up Where's there. Where's Milan at? Uh, Northern Italy. Did like, they have, like, a Mount- lot of, like, soccer oh, jerseys? Okay. <laughs> yeah, the so- soccer was everywhere. We actually got to we got to see the Roma Stadium, which oh, is pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was cool as fuck. Damn. What is the Roma Stadium? Who plays there? AC, AC, AC Roma? Yeah, AC, yeah, AC Roma. Roma. Oh, okay. I think Mourinho coaches them. Right yeah, 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 yeah. They have a really good coach. Are they the they yellow do. and black team? orange yellow and red it, yeah it's like yellow and red but sometimes it's also like a dark orange and like a red yeah yeah hmm. like they're away in home kids yeah, yeah yeah they're not a very they're known but you guys probably wouldn't be familiar with yeah them. Not think, no, no idea if you've from, seen their logo you might be like oh okay. yeah yeah because uh-huh. it just says FIFA roma on it and like i would th- probably recognize yeah it, it says roma and then i think there's like a like a bear or something it's the it. it's the Two wolves. Yeah, yeah, two, two wolves. wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I actually yeah. think I know what you guys are talking about. Still have no idea. That's that's <laughs> a cool stadium though. Wait, so like is Milan though like AC Milan and shit like that? Would be yeah, there? AC Milan, FC or not AC Milan and uh, what's what the, other the other one? one? Um what the fuck Inter, is Inter, yeah, Inter Milan. I'll say, say they played in the Champions <laughs> yeah. League in City. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? Inter Milan, yeah. yeah. They they actually they share a stadium. that would been cool. You go to like AC Milan, that you get to see like Pulisic or some shit. Yeah. I wish we could get away, but like we had to follow the chaperones, of course. Like so they yeah. had to keep track of 80 different kids. Oh, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Fuck. They brought 80 kids yeah, on that they brought, they brought, It was two groups of 40. And we had like, I don't know, five chaperones or so for, per group. Was it all paid for? Or did you guys have to like... We had to it? we had to pay for it, yeah. But, oh, wow. Yeah, it was so, still pretty I mean, dope. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was pretty dope. It's definitely... I'd say it's worth it. Like, if you... Like, you're saving up, setting aside any extra money, like, Europe, Italy is the way to go. It's gorgeous. So, mm. you, so you go to Mulan and then... We went, went to Mulan, then we went... I think we went down to Florence next. We spent the most time in Florence. That was super pretty. Just like the architecture and stuff like that. Mm. Food everywhere was good. People were super nice. Did get heckled by a couple of the like the wristband salesmen and shit. They're like, hey, big man, come put it on my wrist. Really? Yeah, yeah. and some, some random chick out of the group had to come save me once or twice. Like, I wasn't speaking up against them. So she came in and like, she could speak a little Italian. So she was talking to him and shit. But I know oh, what they're saying. Cool. Yeah, she saved my butt on that one. That was good. You got cornered by a fucking Yeah, uh, I got heckler. cornered. Mm-hmm. He's trying to shake you down for a little wristband cash. Yeah, he's trying to, he just put it right on my wrist. I was like, what really? the hell, dude? Yeah. He just never up, put it on your wrist. He's like, you pay me. Yeah, exactly. Damn. I've never right. had an interaction like that I'd take before. it off and throw it on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was That's so like, weird. I was like shell-shocked. I was yeah, like, what's going on right me now? Out. Hey, I'd be yeah. like, what the fuck? What's the middle finger in Italy? Probably the middle finger. Yeah, probably. I don't know. going to be my other option other than nursing. Welding. If, then, if then nursing don't work out, yeah, I want to do welding. Mm-hmm. Like, my dad's always done that shit. I grew up around it a little bit. Oh, your dad's a welder? He is, he is a welder. He worked for P&G. He was a maintenance planner and a welder for a little bit. Oh. He worked for Procter & Gamble. Oh, hell they yeah. They make, like, Febreze and shit. He would work on, like, the packing lines and, like, fix shit. Oh, like, damn. Some shit. That's sick. But, yeah. That's actually a pretty cool job. Mm-hmm. He just retired, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, he's done with it. Was he grouchy? I mean, not really. He's just he's just a big dude. And, like it puts a lot of stress on his body. He's he always is working. Big, tall. How old is he that now? Sense. He just is he turned, that old already? He just turned sixty-two. Damn, okay. My mom just turned sixty on the twenty-second. Yeah, my dad just turned seventy years old. Really? Like nine days ago. Well, Dad's like eight eight days old ago. Grandma. Happy birthday! Happy late birthday! He's kind of short, a little hunchback, got a big old belly, looks like a turtle. 
Dude, <laughs> tell him the story about him working. Oh, yeah. Which one? Talking about, like, when he fell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Too. I don't think that was at the stadium, but I know he was at, like, a commercial building or whatever. I guess he was, like, next to this metal scrap bin or whatever, and I guess he missed step or whatever. He ended up falling off the roof into this metal metal scrap bin. Oh, shit. Yeah, it fucked him up pretty good. Fuck. They weren't even, they were said that he wasn't even supposed to, like, walk again and shit like that. Really? I mean, like, if he has a shirt off or something, and you, like, look at his back and, like, down his legs, dude, he's got scars all the way down. Dude, it's nuts. You have a lot of surgery. But the fact that, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just had knee surgery, like, a couple weeks ago. But, uh, GG. But, yeah, he, he walks. I mean, he waddles. <laughs> GG. <laughs> yeah, literally, Help GG. Me. Get better. But he, <laughs> but he can walk now. But Go run some laps. Yeah. Literally. But, no, yeah. he, he can walk now. But... He waddles. That's, that's fucked. Yeah, that he, scares he like, been through it. me about getting older. Dude, yeah, he literally has to like yeah. take pills yeah. every day to like, I guess like, because he shakes so bad because his mm. muscles and shit are all fucked up. It's like rigid as fuck. Man, that would, and he has to like keep him like taking medicine, like keep him calm or even like let him live pretty much. If I ever got that shit where tremor like, shit. Yeah. Dude, and I like, could, like, we'll dude, it would low key piss me the fuck mm. off. Like we'll see. I get that during tests, bro. I, I used to have tests. like an uncle or grandpa or something like that. I don't know who he was, but he would come to the like when he was when I was younger. And dude, he used to have it. And dude, it like took him so long to get a bite of food, dude. <laughs> and I would just sit there and think, I'm like, just fucking eat it. I'm like, come on. But dude, I didn't know. And I was like, come on. I said, but yeah, he'll just sit there and he just like his hands shake and shit. Yeah, and... I just wanted to grab his hand and be like, <laughs> give him, he give probably him, appreciated him it. Him <laughs> Literally, damn, damn son, you knocked like, five minutes off my eating time. <laughs> Grandma, <Charlie. laughs> eat it. This is how we stuff a turkey. <laughs> Seen that scary movie? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Those like, movies are funny. So. He's like, <laughs> what did you say dude what? dude i remember that i was with my grandma in the car dude remember when they had us drive around the school mm-hmm. dude and they had us talk on the mic you could you could say something to the mic oh really dude yeah what? they had speakers going around johnny said some shit he what said you fuck say? you guys i'm no, out of no, here no, no. i heard shit. that no, dude, no, I saw, yeah yeah they were live streaming it and the dj was interviewing people <laughs> and it was on the radio he, no. gave, he gave me the mic and my dad goes i bet you won't say blank 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 and i was like fuck yeah i will <laughs> and I, I, I get the mic i go peace out bitches <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was i'm pretty sure my girl was like what did he say <laughs> and i was like i don't know who that was, was but i knew who i was, was sitting on top of the jeep with hannah my mom had her jeep the tops were off and shit and i, I was on the top rail and the DJ got up there and gave me the mic. <laughs> you just in full sight, everyone. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. out, bitches. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He really, he said yeah, exactly. It just takes one person <laughs> to ruin it for everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He just made it fucking better for everybody. Yeah, how's it up there? What's yeah. the weather like? Well, you're fucking like 6'9 like like now? Six, yeah, wait, what is your actual height? Uh, I think I'm like 6, 7, and uh, 3 quarters. So oh, almost 6'8. Yeah. Holy I'm shit. actually taller than my dad is now, though. And I remember yeah. when we go over your house, look at your dad, and be like, dog, I, I love the reactions. Dude. Everyone walking in for the first time seeing my dad. Well, just your Everybody entire in your family is yeah. tall as shit. Everyone is Even your mom's true. tall for a woman. Mm-hmm. Andrew's mm-hmm. the shortest, and he's fuck like six five, six six. Hmm. Oh, that uh, short dude. guy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that Super short motherfucker. We give him shit for it all the time, though. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Imagine being like actually tall as fuck and just getting bullied. Who's <laughs> short, <laughs> bitch? <laughs> you're six seven, yeah. six eight, yeah. six yeah. nine brothers. Get to our level. Short, short fucker. No, that's You're pretty, definitely the little brother. 6'5", and he's the runt. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, technically, you guys are, you got a tall thing. Yeah, and shit, we just had, we have three new boys just came into the family. I have three new nephews, wow. all, all under one. Are all so under a couple one more 6'7s? Yeah, so I'm excited to see what they're, they're going to grow up to be because my older brother, his wife. NBA wife's, athletes. Yeah, probably, I mean, hopefully. Give them a basketball right away. <laughs> the problem is my brother's wife is short as fuck, oh, so we'll see. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> GG. But yeah, Breaking the cycle. Exactly. But uh, my other my other brother Steve and his wife's pretty damn tall, so that baby's already huge. Like they're they're at the same age and that baby was two times the size. Larger. Yeah. Arlo, my brother Steve. Taller, I should say. Yeah, bigger than Harry. Damn. He's That's gonna a- be just like his uncle Jared. Yep. Big tall <laughs> Big lengthy guy. <laughs> <laughs> How was the weather up there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, That's pretty cold right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's snowing on my head whenever I'm walking around. Here I go. Jared, you carried the umbrella. <laughs> um, did you drive your Mustang over? I did. How long have you She's had that thing? thing? Uh, it'll be, it'll be three years in early January. I don't exactly remember the day. Oh yeah, you oh. got a Mustang. So wait, you got it yeah, like right out little, of little V six. Well, no, but it's it's the it's a good year, it's, and it looks like you keep it in like work, perfect yeah. shape, dude. Work. You keep it in really good shape. Yeah. I, um, what year is it? Oh two, I think. Oh fuck. Yeah. Oh, so it's a year yeah. older than I am. That's it's a little bit. Those are good year Mustangs. Those are things. It's like they're amazing looking. Uh huh. Fox bodies are definitely. I love the new ones. Buy. Mm hmm. I really like the new ones. Are nice. And they said they're making them till twenty twenty eight. I haven't seen the new ones. Yeah, they're making them longer than any other. I seen other a new one today, and it was a fucking five O GT, and oh, it was great, it was dude. Sexy. At first, I thought it was a uh, a Camaro, because really? I only seen the I've headlights. I've seen the dark horse, but oh, okay. I haven't seen these. It was just like that. Yeah, it they've was, got the super sharp backlights now. Just Ooh, like that, damn. Yeah, dude, I think they look. I like the way the mm. back of them look. Too. Mm, man. One of the nursing teachers has a new twenty twenty four. It's so what? sleek. It's the gray damn. one. Oh, really? Yeah. It's really nice. But dude, that's fucking sick. Dude, I bet your head hits the ceiling. Oh, yeah. And, and both cars. Fuck, it takes me five Wait, both cars? What's your other car? True. Well, you Mustang. are so tall for oh, a Mustang. Yeah. yeah. Wait, your other Mustang? Takes me. No, 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 no. I wish I had to. <laughs> no. Yeah, it takes me like 10, 15 seconds to even get out of the car. I bet. It's like doing a squat every time I got to get out of it. But Damn. It's yeah. sick, though. I love, yeah, I love that car. Because that, that's like the, I think they're called, like, people call them New Edge Mustangs. Yeah, the New Edge. Yeah. 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 Those are my favorite. Mm -hmm. mm, man. It like just, if I could get like a Cobra in one of those, bro, oh, those are so, they're so hard to <laughs> like, come by oh, nowadays. Black. I've only seen one, really? one ever New Edge, and it was on the highway I was working. It was fucking going that way, and I was like, oh. they sound so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need myself to get a truck. Would that be your next car you get or vehicle? I really don't know. I just want something with that I can get good mileage on, just something Intent. that I don't, I can't put a lot of, I don't have to put a lot of money into, just something cheap, something. Oh, um. Uh, a Prius. Yeah, just like a little, oh, just a little shit box. The new ones are cool. The new ones are fire. The new, <laughs> the new ones, ones are fire. Are cool. yeah. they have, I guess they were tired of getting pooped on. Yeah, so for real. They made a like, Man, fuck this. Jeez. But now I want to get like a... Some that will run forever, like a 04 Toyota Corolla or something. Some of them will yeah. run for <laughs> just fuck a bullet. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. I mean, so they, they did make those cars bulletproof. They, they yeah. did. You could literally do anything for those things. Yeah. Just fine. Yeah, just get an old school Buick. Fuck, there's some just one dude that at my work, dude. Dude, dude just a, pimping. Just some dude at my work, he has Buick. a fucking like '04 Corolla. And the thing has like three hundred thousand miles exactly. on it. Exactly. And he's like, I don't even have problems with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never hey, taken the shop. I think you can run those without oil. <laughs> <laughs> cooking oil in there. Yeah, probably. literally. I think he did say that. he's like, I ran this thing for five thousand miles without oil in it before. And it was fine. So that, I'm yeah. like, no I'll fucking shot. I've heard Asking of that. For problems I've heard that of that before, though. It like burns through oil people don't know it and then <clears throat> they you know go to do what they think is going to be an oil change and they realize they don't have any oil <laughs> yeah they open up the cap nothing comes it's out an, it's literally an, it's yeah an oil it's just fill. <laughs> yeah you're <laughs> filling it it's not an oil change yeah, it's, it's an oil, oil fill, fill. <laughs> Fuck. that is true <laughs> Fuck. i don't so know like, there's something about toyota right? and what they do with their cars is something else yeah, yeah they are geniuses. nice yeah, same yeah. for honda though Oh, yeah, yeah any the exact car, same really. way. True. Like you work on any like with machines or anything like that. Most of them are like Honda, like little mini motors. Mm -hmm. Nissan's fucking dog Honda's. shit. I know a lot of ours stuff is anyways. But he'd be a great guest to have on. Yeah, I think so too. He's very lively. He, and shit he like is, that. He is, he is. He's always got. And he's to been talk to a lot of places. He, yeah, like, yeah. He's like his life's awesome. Yeah, he's, what does he do for a living? He was. He's up in my or he was up in Montana. I think he's going back. But he was going to school there. I forget which city he was in, but oh, one of the bigger cities in Montana. That makes sense. So he's going up to school there. I forget what for, but before that, he was like, he was working at state parks and like making trails and. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, making like, I guess, trails for state parks, but I'm not sure. What That's actually fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. It's it is really cool. Yeah. Damn, it's like living up there in the wilderness. Yeah, awesome. literally. Probably sees a whole I wonder how you shit. make a trail. Like, exactly. You just like go through with like a. I guess you just do chainsaws. And <laughs> yeah, do yeah. Just like, like rape. have like a bag of dirt with you, and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll send a trail up this way. Yep. <laughs> Put on your lumberjack stuff. That'd be Get sick though. It. I bet you come across some cool shit. You're like, you oh, probably do, trail yeah. needs to go up this way. Look at this view. You, know? you probably see some crazy ass animals too. Yeah, that yeah. Shit, yeah. Dude. Oh. Montana. They probably it's got grizzly some crazy bear. shit. Yeah, something. Mountain lion, fucking a whole bunch of shit. We got mountain lion. Bigfoot. 
Big Big Bigfoot. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Bigfoot's up there for sure. You gotta look out for that fucking elusive right? Big Bigfoot cop, Arkansas. Uh -huh. Fucking look at your email. <laughs> <laughs> look at your email. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Look at your email. If you're watching this right <laughs> yeah. We hopefully, want you hopefully on. Hopefully he is. I hope so. Oh, yeah. My sleep paralysis story. Whoa. Oh, shit. This shit was wild. This shit was wild. Sleep bro. I've never heard of anybody sleep. actually having it. This is the first and only time I've ever had it. And really? there's, there's a crazy twist then that I was not expecting. It's here. But but anyway. I'm interested. I, Me too. I was just, it was like a normal night sleeping in my girlfriend's bed. And probably I'd say around like two or three-ish. I just wake up. And I just, I can't, I can't move anything from my neck down. Like I can move, I can move my head and like sit up and like look around, open my eyes. And... I'm sleeping on the left side. She's sleeping on the right side. I sit up a little bit with my head and I look up like right above her. And all I see, I don't see like a person or anything. I see a, a black pair of shorts, shorts of all things. It sounds stupid, <laughs> but shorts just floating above her as she's laying down. And it wasn't like, I wouldn't say it was like scary, but like I had like a sense of like dread. It was just like a super weird, like out of body feeling. Wow. Yeah. And that would freak me out. While I was while I was looking at it, I was like whispering her name or like trying to get her name out, but I could barely talk. And I eventually was able to enunciate enough to where she would like she like wiggled around, but like she didn't get up. And then that's all I remember from that. I think I just passed out after that, after like five minutes of staring at that. But, Holy shit, five minutes. Yeah, five Holy minutes. Be so it. long though. It was just weird. Like I walked downstairs the next morning and I remembered it because it was just so weird and out of the blue. I talked to her dad about it. And if he's like had anything an experience with it, and I like talked about what happened to me last night and how it was scary as fuck, but he said a week before that he was sleeping downstairs on the couch, and he had one of the same experiences, but this time it was actually a figure and it moved. But what? this was a week before I had mine, and he had never had any other experience like that either in the same house. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. Shit. That is weird. Sleeping on the couch, just at the foot, at the foot of the couch, just staring at him. Do you sleep there still? I mean, yeah, he still sleeps down there. All right, I still, I still sleep there. Yeah, a little bit. Well, Nothing like that has ever happened a second time. And that, I think, that probably happened close to a year ago. Oh wow! But yeah, it was. That's probably that would freak me the freakiest fuck out. thing that's that ever happened in my life. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's actually nuts. I just don't know why it was shorts. Like I was. I was like questioning myself for the next week after that. I was like, why was it shorts? Like, is that a sign or something? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So you can move your head, but like. I couldn't, couldn't move any part of my body. And you couldn't talk? I could I could barely talk at like the beginning and I was finally able to get words out. But like I had to say Alyssa's name like six or seven times. And on the seventh time, I was finally able to get it out to where enough to where she could hear it. And like the whole time I was, I usually sleep like this and I was trying to like nudge her like that, but I couldn't get at far all. enough to get to her could you oh, move wow. like at all or like it was it like was a little just... twitch movement that's about really? it yeah that's about it Holy feels shit. like i was in a straight jacket so you just felt it's locked so weird. like right there oh my and your brain's just sitting there telling your body like okay yeah now's the time to move and There's, like right you just just can't it's the one of the most surreal feelings i've ever had that is I bet. so weird it was very I bet. strange I bet, like, waking up the next day, you're probably like, what the yeah. fuck? Dude, I'm surprised I fell back asleep. Like, it was just, like, right after I was just out. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. It was weird. Did you ever feel any sort of, like, peace that you can remember? Like, before Not, you... Not during it, no. No? Like, not during so it, So, no. it was just in and out. Basically. The same way you went in. Yeah, basically. That is... There's, like, a sense of dread the entire time. Like, I just, feel like, like a, a down feeling, like... Yeah. Kind of, yeah, kind of like someone's like on top of you almost, but it was it wasn't on top of me. It was on top of Alyssa, and it was just a pair of shorts like floating, I'd say like six or twelve inches above her. Holy fuck, oh, yeah. that's actually pretty scary, dude. It, like, yeah, it was, it was really freaky. Weird. Was it like a regular pair of like gym shorts? I think I think it was girl shorts. If I remember, it's like the like the girl booty shorts. Oh. It's not like anything special. It's like gym <laughs> shorts. Yeah. Oh, just He's like a pair of Nike booty shorts. Like, yeah, just like sports shorts for girls. Yeah, just like a regular pair of shorts. Was it colored or was it? It was just black. Like really? I couldn't see any details. It was just an outline of shorts and it was just black. Really? Yeah. So there wasn't like a Nike symbol or like an Under Armour symbol. It was just, just like black. a like a cutout of shorts. Did you like, look shorts. for some shorts after you woke up? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> that would freak me out if I found like black shorts in the ground Dude. after that. Would <laughs> be like, Dude, nah, I don't know who those are. Nah. Uh, Maybe Holy like, so strange. Like, it was so weird. weird. Damn. Was really weird. That's yeah. another crazy thing is like dreams. Like, God damn. Dreams are weird. 
You know, it's they, almost they feel so real, and like, why does yeah. the body do that? So DMT, and you get mad when you wake up, like, and it's a good one. Exactly. You wake up, you're like, what? Oh, oh, well, sometimes you also get pissed when some bad shit happens. Then I wake up, I'm like, holy shit, did that actually something. fucking happen? Like, not even mm-hmm. that. Like, oh my god, I crashed my car. You just tripped out. You know? Yeah. Look yeah. out the window. Okay, so that. Yeah. yeah. I think that dreams. They say that like DMT is naturally in your body, and I think oh, really? I there think is. I, it's it is. like a type of. I don't know what the word is for it, but it's like, like it's like a. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, is that like the flashbacks you have? It's like a yeah, something yeah like that's that. what they like think seeing the light means. Like I'm, I'm Christian, I believe in God. Oh so, yeah, but but they think that because we naturally have DMT, we, and we produce it when we dream because that's like our brain trying to go through our file cabinet and get rid of the shit we have. Yeah, that's not important in REM sleep. Apparently that's how that's that how, how the dreams works. happen. Yeah, but you see that at death also that that's like feeling the peace basically. That's interesting. As fuck. Isn't that crazy? That's really interesting. So like people that lucid dream, it's almost like tripping in a way. Yeah. Because it is you know a chemically fucking almost going to the light and then seeing literally seeing yeah like you see loved ones or like memories that and would be insane. And, that would like, imagine people that have like can died we pull that up, back. Gavin? Is that is that like a a pretty good fact of surreal? You know this word. What's up? What are you in? You're the nurse. Human. Several speculative yet untested hypothesis suggest that endogenous DMT is in produced in the brain. human brain and is involved in certain How do you know psychological and neurological work. states. Oh. DMT is naturally occurring in small amounts in rat brain, human cerebral spinal fluid, and other tissues of humans and other mammals. Huh. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, I guess That's it's crazy. the penal gland. Your, your, penis gland. your penis gland. <laughs> I make it in my dickhead. Whoa! I no. just I just came deep. You know, my cock be dreaming. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! That, that dream cock. You got any interesting fucking what? What else has happened to you, crazy? I mean, most like I guess I don't know, like eventive thing. Just like the Europe trip that I was talking about. Just going there, seeing different cultures. Anything crazy happen there? We had a we had a thing called Greek night. It was at, we were in Greece at this time. Oh, shit. It was on top of a fucking hill. Was it an olive oil orgy? It's basically. They're fucking crazy. Oh, shit. So snap. they, we were just at a bunch of tables. It almost looked like a wedding reception, but they were handing out wine. Like, I think you can drink at 18 there. Mm-hmm. So, oh, wow. I mean, I was still old you enough. You guys got to, drunk. Yeah, either way. But yeah, basically, with the fucking locals. Oh. It was insane. We had a little, little dance party, and they have like, they baked like a bunch of plates like in a kiln, and they had pottery cl- clay plates that we would take and we would throw down, say, Opa. Opa. If you know what yeah, cool. that thing is, what yeah, Opa. Way. Holy like, shit. We got to do that. That was cool. Had a fuck ton of wine. Almost threw up on the bus ride home. Damn. But yeah. I just got to spend time with the locals and see how they live their That's life. It was cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, to see, like, another aspect of someone's life. Yeah. It was really cool. It was Hell yeah. Enlightening, really. What's a wild night for you? Wow. <laughs> Studying in my bed. <laughs> that's a wild night. It's a wild night. Nah, I went. I mean, I went out a few times last semester. Last semester, not as much as I would have liked. But were there I mean, any crazy times that you're like, all right, man, we this is college, we've made it. Shit, I mean, are there oh, parties or man, like is some... it like not really that crazy in college? Semos all right. I mean, we have a good party scene. If you're if you're in a frat, you're golden. But a lot of the dudes, if you're not in a frat, like a lot of dudes, you can't get into the frats. Yeah. basically. Yeah, but sense. we have. I wouldn't be in. I don't think. Just nah, fuck all that yeah, shit. And then if you're there to either. study like you are, like that's actually serious. And yeah, you, yeah. you're completely cool. out of that when yeah. you're in that. That's how I would I wouldn't have it. any fun because like, I wouldn't be able to do anything. So Yeah, true. Yeah, but true. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't for me, but they have yeah. they've got a few clubs down there. They've got hypnotic and like they hang out, a few other small clubs, but there's mm. really not a lot down in Cape. I'm not gonna lie. Do you go to the pony? The pony <laughs> fuck the pony. <laughs> Oh no! No, we no, don't no. go to the pony. What's the, the pony? They got the one-legged workers working. <laughs> it's our it's our strip club down in Cape. It's over the it's over the bridge in Illinois. In Illinois. Oh my yeah. god! So the amputees have, can get. Have full you been nude. to the pony? Fuck no! But every time I go to Florida, I look at it. I'm like, oh, the gentleman's Pull called over. the pony. Yeah, <laughs> the pony. Everything's abandoned, and it's just this pink neon building, yeah. the pony, and oh. in the middle of nowhere. Because as soon as you cross the river, there ain't shit. No, there's nothing. There's, there's literally no nothing. Yeah, it's either. It's either go to the pony or make a left or a right. And yeah. either way, there's nothing. Go do donut, donuts in a cornfield or something. Yeah. That's about, <laughs> it. That's about all there is over there. That's hilarious. Good old Illinois. Yep. yep. I know exactly where that is. 
Fuck. I've never even seen the place in person. I'm not trying to go over there. No. Not trying to go over there. No. <laughs> Yeah. Other just, than that, just one yeah. night. Maybe one I night. Might get a little crazy. <laughs> Might head over there. Grant will go. Yeah, Grant, Grant will, go. will go. Grant will go. Oh, 100%. Grant loves the titty bar. He loves the t- what titty bar does he go to? Uh, a lot. Yeah. He goes. He's an avid titty bar. Uh, he's been probably. I'd he's say, a titty bar. Uh, he's probably been to every single one her. that's in St. Louis. I'd say yeah, three, he's gonna make a titty three bar. or four different times in the last like month and a half. Two I didn't months. even. I didn't even know we had good titty bars around here. Yeah, his favorite thing is. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Butthole in the face, he says. Yeah, he told us the always ends yeah, up he told us to story. Him. They pull their panties to the side and then just smack his like fucking rim face job with and their shit. Fuck, yeah, big dude. guy, dude. And, and they're like, I don't mean this in any sort of way, but like Grant's got this thing for like black chicks too. So it's okay, respectable. Yeah, it's respectable. He's, just, he's just gonna get farted on. He's just, uh, he's just taking some big old booty to the face, you know, <laughs> some of that soul booty, brother. He told us, yeah. like, my nose is like in her butthole, dude. He, she's like going hard on my shit. <laughs> Some girl's gonna let it go one time on accident. Just, he's gonna, gonna do it to the wrong guy, and everybody's fucked. Dude, he's a dog. That man will drive like four and a half hours just For to get him some. Absolutely, man's committed. He, no, man he is straight up, hundred percent will. Here, I'll get. I'll give it to you like this. Four hours. That's fucking. Is that, true, is that a true story? Dude, that's a true story. Oh my god, yeah, that's a true story. His four his, his, his on, last man. girlfriend was, <laughs> and the other one after, and then the other one after that was, uh, no, but. Dude, and she lived somewhere else that was just way the fuck in nowhere. I mean, it was, and he would go. He would like take a road trip every time he'd go get himself some fucking little happy colas and uh, um, some you know hot fries and a soda. And he'll just he just ride. That's funny as fuck. He'd go get it, turn around, go back. He'd fall asleep for three, four hours, go to work the next day. I mean, dude, that's just the way Grant is, man. He's a dog. So he had to, he was an iron worker for like two point three seconds, and <laughs> when he when he was doing it, he had to go work it. And this is where he met this chick. He was tired of staying in the motel with all the guys, so he gets on Tinder, and he's looking for bitches. Well, he 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 said he put it on the older category, oh, so that shit. way he knew like they had a place to stay. Yeah. And so he found this chick who was a couple of years older than him, and he would go over there and pipe her up and sleep at her apartment. And he ended up getting in so good with her, he was like buying groceries and like paying rent and shit, and just banging Damn. her out for the summer. That's smart as Dude, fuck. Yeah, literally. That's smart he as had fuck. a sweet deal. You had a system going. And he was just hanging out there. He would go to work, hang out there. Sometimes he would just stay there instead of coming home for the weekend. He'd just be like, "Well, you know, I brought my Xbox down, John. So <laughs> what's the difference?" <laughs> he's he's a dog man i mean i love Grant. he may be special but boy that's crazy he really lives by the term the only bad puss is the puss you ain't getting that's true that is very 100 percent. he takes that to heart from here to timbuktu dog you know what i'm saying i'm fucking bumfuck egypt pussy man would hop on a flight for that pussy absolutely what, i would not put it against he him. would do a 90 second yeah, fiance you know what i'm saying i would not put it against <laughs> him he'd, he'd travel fucking, fucking 3,000 miles for, oh <laughs> for 90 seconds wife her up and then leave what a g gg that is a gg that's poly g for you yeah poly g baby your grand poly g <laughs> no no I didn't hey this has been the day to day podcast hope you guys have a good one this has been Jared this has been a uh, week ha Go see ya happy new year see you next week next year see ya